If you're looking for info on DJ equipment, PA equipment, some of the very latest high-tech gear, as well as some great tried and tested budget equipment. Also, there's some info on cables, the odd software advice, headphones, DJ controllers, projectors and other visuals, studio monitors, the odd turntable, microphones, lighting. Please do like and subscribe and look at the uploads on my channel as there just might be something of interest just for you. Even today, I still highly recommend these lights. The problem with that is you're only going to be able to find these used. And that is the reason why I've created this upload. And I've just got this 355 Chauvet spot that I purchased ages ago. I think I've only used them once. I will be doing an upload on the difference between the 355 spot and the 350. These 355s that I purchased have never been cleaned. I've never even opened them and looked inside them. So what I've decided to do today is just to show you very little on maintenance. These show base spots are very easy to open. You can slide open the gobo door and you can see what's inside. And you can change the gobos on the gobo wheels. Also at the top and the bottom, there are four screws. Those four screws, you just undo and you can remove the complete top half shell of the moving head. Before you remove the screws, especially like this unit, which has been factory sealed, this has never been opened by anybody. I know it hasn't. The screws are going to be very tight. Make sure that you use the right selection of screwdrivers because sometimes you end up rounding the heads off if you don't use the right tool selection. So as you can see here, there are many screwdrivers. One is going to be perfect for each screw. Once it's removed, you can clearly see all that you need to clean, which might take you a while. You can see all the dust that has been pulled in through the fan, even a bit of confetti or something from a confetti machine has even been pulled in through the fan. Everything will be pulled in through the fan, which you can see right now. Dust, you name it. All that needs to be hoovered, cleaned, and all that dust removed. This is what happens when you purchase used. The likelihood is the person just used them, and that's it. Never needed to maintain them. Didn't even think of maintaining them. But you, as a second owner, that's your job. You need to look after your investment. Another thing I need to mention is that when you're cleaning the dust around the fan, don't spin the fan freely. Running a fan freely is not the best thing to do. It's not good for the fan, so try to keep it still. Seeing all that confetti type taper is one of the reasons why you need to maintain your lights. Maintenance doesn't stop there, I must add. You also need to clean the gobos, the gobo wheels, where the wires are, electronics, other simple little places to clean. You also need to clean your optics, your color wheels. It goes on and on and on. A nice good thorough clean is what these definitely need. But I'm just concentrating right now at what just might be inside your dust and any other easy to access unwanted things you do not need and do not want, which could hamper the performance of your moving heads. And in some places, a little lubrication just to keep all things nice and running good. Just on one clean, removed all of those parts of confetti. All you need is one of these pieces of paper to get jammed somewhere, causing your lights to overheat, maybe tripping out and failing completely. All that dust inside just needs to be sitting on something that heats up. And you're looking at a fire hazard. A little maintenance goes a long way.